What's up everybody, Bo Heineman here with another quick video. It's been a while since I've done any videos because of the whole shutdown. I've been busy, I've been swapping my office around right now. We're in a, there's a robot in a sack. Uh, we are in my new office. So I'm messing around with some different filming setups. I'm gonna get back to doing film reviews, uh, toy reviews. I'm working on a custom toy right here. Uh, for you know from a company that I, I got that so I'm gonna I'm gonna start just doing some more general reviews my old toy reviews and everything like that but to start off this is a toy line that I first heard about uh, on Adam Savage's tested channel if you know what tested is it's a uh, Adam Savage's channel where they do tech and all sorts of fun stuff he's the guy who used to be in Mythbusters really cool guy um, great uh, channel just for finding out about things and this is an example they go to maker fairs, toy fairs, stuff like that, or like monster cons and stuff. And these guys, I believe, came, they came across these guys a couple of years ago, a year ago, I can't remember. And they're called snap ships. And they had basically 3D printed the modular ships so that you get a box like this and you can, you can build, um, you know, in a modular way, a different line of ships. There's a good... Um, side and a bad side and all that wonderful stuff so you can see fox and wasp and um, I if you don't know my channel I, it's uh, you know it's full of toys and games but in drawings mostly creative stuff but the toys I typically really really like are modular toys where you can take them apart piece them back together um, I also like action figures and stuff but I like to do something creative with my toys I often paint them and this is a great example of something that seems really good I haven't opened it yet so I added myself to their mailing list, which is a great idea for indie toy companies. If you can add yourself to their mailing list, you'll get notification that they have uh, released a new product or whatever. But for indies, it's really important because that make, gives them a little confidence about their numbers. You know, they have 10,000 people sign up for their newsletter, but also they can let you know as soon as these kits come out. This came out, first thing I did was order it. Now, this is kind of funny. This is what came with it here. They sent an email, I mean an email, <laughs> a, a real life email that says basically i'm not going to read it all but greetings we sent a poster i guess inside here that was misprinted due to basically the evil guys uh messing with you know it was a, it was this was a cute lore way to to say they sent a misprinted poster i believe in the original kit and so to make up for it they sent a make uh, two extra ones i absolutely I, I actually really really love this how they did this um, this is something that if this toy line goes on and becomes something cool and bre I mean, it is already cool, but let's say if it becomes, you know, like a, a neat, um, line of toys that, you know, you can have this kind of thing when they first happened. It's, I just like getting that kind of stuff. That, that stuff is really funny and fun to, fun to keep. You can frame it later or whatever. Then here's the poster, I believe. So this gives you an idea of, uh, some of the different, uh, action figures or well, I shouldn't say action figures, toys. I'll let you read that a little bit. You can also, I uh, don't want to spoil it if you want to. Oh, look at this one. I didn't know this one had wheels. Okay, so I need to get that one. I like the red coloring, but I like these designs a bit better. I like this one. I like this one. So um, they have, a, it's a pretty wide, this was a great big one here. And then I got, these are the two largest sets. So I think I got this one here. Basically, oh, and they're, they're teaming up with Play Monsters. So if you go to Play Monster, I'll put the link in the description so you can go buy one if you want. Uh, basically, you can buy, uh, I think you get, like, that's a, that's a, you can buy that box, that box, that box, and each one of these t comes apart, and I think they can all fit together to build one giant fun thing or whatever. Reminds me a bit of Zivaz, if you remember what Zivaz were, which are, I don't have one nearby, but a Zivaz is basically like a, a modular building kit from the 2000s that a monsters and are fantastic, but kind of pricey to get on eBay now. Um, but um, the price wasn't bad. This was, I think, after shipping and everything, maybe $32, something like that, 30 bucks. So it was like 25, 20, something like that. I can't remember exactly. It might've been closer to 35, I can't remember. But it was under $40. And then they had, I think, individual boxes for like 50, I could, I'd have to look. Go look at yourself, Snap Ships is what it's called. So I just wanna, let's just get this open and I just wanna start looking at some of the initial parts. I don't wanna make a video that is, you know, 20 minutes long if I can help it. I'm gonna try to keep, this is actually a really cool box, this plastic. A lot of indies will uh, have neat ways they uh, package stuff. So if you can keep that stuff, it looks good for display later and all that fun nerdy stuff that nerds, nerds like to do. I'm gonna cut this using the safest possible way. I see people doing unboxing videos all the time and they cut 
Like I saw somebody the other day doing literally like this, right towards their finger and it just about freaked me. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, this is actually really exciting. I was really looking forward to this. So, oh, look, miniature little, let me see if I can zoom in on that or focus on it. I don't know if I can. Oops, sorry, I'm booping that. I love like, um, if you remember, uh, what was it, Max Power? Max Power was a miniature, kind of like Polly Pocket for quote unquote boys. Look, there's the box empty. And look at this cool box. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep that, put that maybe on my shelf up top. Wow, there's a, oops, there is a ton of stuff in here, not only in the tray, but look at this, underneath. Um, I don't know if you if you remember a line called uh, War Planets, I think it was. I'd have to get mine over there. But basically it is a, they had battle planets, like planets like this that were monsters, and then a great big one, which I have the great big monster set. And they came with a lot of small figures like this. And I love small figures like that. Oh, cool. So this is each one of these, each, each one of these squares is basically the modular, the modular main part of the kit so that it's based around snapping, called snap ships, together around kind of like those center pieces. I think they light up, I'm not sure. So there's some gray, I'm gonna keep the two sides. Uh, let's do this, so keep the two sides kind of balanced. I'm not gonna open the whole thing and go through all of, oh my gosh, this is a really thick, little both of these wow for 20 something bucks this is a hell of a deal i should have got more um oh here's this might be the poster that was misprinted i'm betting you anything yeah so i'm gonna keep that it's kind of fun to have a misprint and that was cool they sent you know like a, uh, a, a, a one that worked uh let's see what time is it okay good i'm good on time um there's like a lore i'm not gonna go over the lore i haven't read it i'm gonna read that here um while i'm chilling out my room it's a little late at night, so I'm not gonna do too much more tonight, but this shows you how to build that ship, for example. But as you can see, since it's modular, you can build whatever you want. So it's kind of like Lego. There is a recommended, very easy to follow. This is nice, very, very easy to follow. That I was worried that their instructions would be a little bit vague or hard to see, but this is like a Lego. Look at that, just beautiful drawings. Really, really, they've outdone themselves, and this is a, so far, it's a really, so I'm not gonna go over all that. You can build the ship, and then I'm betting at the end. Dang, this is actually a lot. That's uh, pretty cheap. If you're gonna pick any up, I'd pick them up now. Look, there's like optional like variants and stuff. Pick it up now while it's cheap, because if these, see, okay, so here's the different size kits. This is the one I bought. I wanted that one. It's like a great big bomber. I don't know if you can see that. And these are the smaller individual ones. So they come in three sizes, that's pretty cool. Four sizes, one small, medium, large, extra large, it looks like. Oh, there's an app. That is cool. They've really gone out, gone out of their way. Now I think these, I thought these guys were based in California, but Play Monsters, who did it? I went over to Play Monster and they have other toys and stuff, you might check out their site. Um, some of it seemed to be more like, you know, like, um, kids for smart or toys and stuff for smart play so not necessarily like toys like this um, but some other other cool stuff uh, let's check out some of these parts hopefully I did not cut that towards my finger and I, think I was just you know dull that razors I won't even cut that um, here's a wing I mean this is just this is just uh, begging for for like customization isn't it so cool. Now, I mean, it's good by itself, don't get me wrong, but, so let's just take a part here. Try and get it out of the box here. So this is the kind of the generic, uh, the generic, you know, centerpiece. It's, it's this interesting thing where I believe what they did is when I saw it on Test It Up, if I remember correctly, they 3D printed these and built samples. And then you can take those samples as a proof of concept to like a con and then they show it on something like tested and then you have someone like me say that is really really cool i want to buy that and 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 get you know sign up for the newsletter because that is really cool um so fantastic parts i mean there is a ton of parts in here so even though it's not as customizable as say lego with individual little blocks or whatever i think that is pretty fantastic but look at that all that detail so it has a ton of detail on it. Uh, here's some of the gray wings. I'm not gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and then I'm gonna build something and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like built. But if that's the wing, 
that is actually a pretty good size model. See, if you're talking about building this, so that's a that's a good size toy, about as big as this thing. So pretty, pretty freaking cool. I've got to look at these before I finish the video. Sorry, I've got to look at the little figure. Little figures are my favorite little thing. Ever since I was a kid, I just like little miniatures and stuff. Oop. Okay, so here's the see if I can get it to focus. So he looks like he has actually his waist here is it actually has a bend in it. So he's not articulated everywhere, which is fine, but he has a, oh, I bet because he's so he can sit in the ship. That is pretty cool. And he's a cool looking little figure. I don't know if I can focus it that close, but that gives you an idea. That is a really interesting little figure. All right, everybody. A few minutes later. No, it took me, I don't know. 15 minutes, I was doing other things. I'm playing around. I didn't get ever, I didn't do this design. It's not exactly how it was put in the instructions. As you can see, it's, it's pretty much the same, but it's a, it's a bit different. I've messed with some stuff. So some of it was a bit hard to tell. I'll explain that real quick. But as you can see, this is a great big, um, once you're done with it, it is a really good sized uh, toy. Um, so many cool little details. You've got little rotating guns here. Um, you've got the cockpit with the little dude inside, which is very, reminds me of Zoids and uh, Robo uh, Constructs from back in the day. Robo Structs, sorry. Uh, just tons and tons of detail. Um, all of this is modular, so you can snap part. Like some of these, I, like I said, I, some of the parts I got, got wrong, I know I did because the, 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 um, the design seemed to show something different, but I just kind of did it quickly to see how I could do it. And even when I was doing it quickly, I got it basically correct. Um, and then it, you notice that it has all these really cool parts that you can just have an idea. You could just think, well, how could I? You, oh, see, that popped out a little bit. I put that back. In. Oh, oh, that popped out. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, anyway, it just has all these cool little parts that you can you can just picture using for a, a million little things. Some complaints, not just very few, considering the cost and how much you get here. This is very few complaints. Um, in the in the instruction booklet, sometimes they'll have parts that are that look silver. Um, not those blocks there, like these wings, I believe it was, and um, or like the guns there. They look like they're a silver gun. So I, I thought, well, I, I mean, I saw those pretty quickly, so I knew what they were. But there are other parts where it was. I thought it was a silver part, but they're actually a dark part. Um, probably a little bit easier to see the part that way, putting it in silver. But then you had the reddish parts here excuse me that were this kind of dark red that were a bit hard to uh make out see if i can get that to focus decently for you um so you know i have a bit of rough eyes you know i'm getting my eyes have always been rough but i'm getting a little older it's harder to see that kind of thing so th that i wish those were a little bit clearer so and some of the instructions are not exactly clear what you're doing, but I, I kind of did them fast, oh. honestly. But even with that, oops, <laughs> even with that, what I've assembled here is just a really cool little model. And you can see all the stuff that you could, you could, you take it all apart, you could build it, you can combine it. I didn't even build the silver one, see? Um, so that's a, a really good size thing. So if you got the larger, this is one of the larger ones. The other one is a bomber. If you got the bomber one here, I imagine that one is probably just huge. So that makes me really interested in that one there. Um, I love that it has a little lore. I love that it has its own little history they're doing. Um, it even says here, I think they have a trailer, a lore trailer on YouTube. Um, they have an app. So they've really done their homework for, a, I don't know if this is their first toy line, this particular, these particular people, but this is, a, this is the first of this toy line. And it's just it's just just brilliant. There are a few little parts like little uh, uh, nubs. If you're into modeling, you know what I'm talking about. When you snip something, it leaves back a little nub. I see if I can find one here. But see, I'm I'm, I'm having a hard time finding them right here. For example, um, you know, just a tiny little nub. But you could, if you wanted to paint them or anything like, you could snip that off. But it, it minor minor stuff. Very few complaints. Um, I like the color schemes. I can't wait to put together the silver one, and I can't wait to get a couple more of the kits. So that's just a quick look at the Snapships line. Brand new. Go to snapships.com, I believe. Snapships.com. Uh, you can. There's a trailer. There, I, I've, I've on their email list. Um, so I would suggest signing up. Um, it, they're being produced, I think, through or distributed maybe through Play Monster. 
Um, so you can go to Play Monster and search for Snap Chips to buy as well. Um, they're on Twitter. Fantastic little. I just I just absolutely love new indie toys coming in because that's something you can do now with 3D printing. You can build a proof of concept. You can get it made. Um, Kickstarter. I don't know how they did it. I'd have to look it up. But then you wind up with something super cool that if you're a modeler or a toy maker or whatever, or like I am and do custom toys and stuff, this is just begging to have paint be applied. I mean, these details are so good that you apply just a little paint, it would just go bam and pop, maybe a little wash. But fantastic looking models. Oh, and I wanted to show you this. This is the lid of the this is the lid of the box it came in, right? I showed you that box when it started. Check this out. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if this is the right one, if it'll hold it. It probably will. It is, it, okay, so that's not the right stand. But anyway, it's a stand. The top of the box is a stand for two of the peak parts. So you can build your ship, and then they give you a, dis, not a way to display it. Where would it stick on there? I'd have to find out, but that is just freaking brilliant. It's a little stand that doesn't look bad. Remember, I commented that on the box. I wanted to keep the box because this looks so cool. You could even paint this a gunmetal, touch it, you know, a little dry brush on there. Just fantastic. Anyway, snap ships. You need to go check these out if you're a toy collector or somebody who just enjoys customizing models, everything like that. Um, there's so much out there in the world of indie models. Fantastic. Well worth the money. Go buy one, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.